Hi all, Cricket Mania is back with another new video for you. But before that if you are new to this channel and not yet subscribed then subscribe to the Cricket Mania channel and also click the bell icon to get all the information and latest buzz around the cricket world. Cricket Mania Playing international cricket since the last century, when some of his current teammates were not even born, Shoaib Malik on Sunday showed them the way with an astonishing 18-ball 54 to set up Pakistan's 72-run mauling of Scotland in the T20 World Cup. It was the tournament's joint fastest half-century alongside India opener KL Rahul's 18-ball 50, which also came against Scotland, as Pakistan stopped the Scots at 117 for 6 after posting an imposing 189 for 4. As her Indian tennis player wife Sanya Mirza watched from the stands, Malik, 39, blasted six sixes during his whirlwind unbeaten knock, which overshadowed skipper Baba Azam's fourth half-century of the tournament. Batting first, Pakistan pummeled 129 runs in the back 10 after limping to 60 for 2 at the halfway stage. With the ball, the informed team did what was expected of them in their last Super 12 engagement to set up a semi-final date with Australia. Pakistan blazed their way into the last four with five wins from as many outings, underlining their credentials as one of the firm favourites. Thanks to Malik's blitz, Pakistan scored 43 runs in the last two overs, including 26 in the final six balls bowled by Chris Creeds. Coincidentally, it was at this very venue that Malik made his one-day international debut in October 1999, against West Indies. His first Pakistan captain, Vasim Akram, retired from the game nearly two decades ago. Meanwhile Baba, who once again donned the role of the accumulator, became only the third batter to score four half-centuries in 80-20 World Cup after former Australia opener Matthew Hayden and India captain Virat Kohli, who achieved the feat in 2007 and 2014 respectively. Having struggled to 60 for 2 at the halfway stage, Pakistan got 129 runs in back 10. Opting to bat first, Baba Muhammad Rizwan were off to a sedate start, as the Scotland bowlers managed to keep the run rate below 6 until the power play. Having smoked Bradley Wheel for a gigantic 6 over deep mid wicket, Rizwan was dismissed by Hamza Tahir who drew the batter with a tossed-up delivery before getting an under-edge to the wicket-keeper. The Scots deserves plaudits for the manner in which they kept a lead on the Pakistan scoring as they ended the power play at 35 for no loss, which became 35 for one in the first ball of the next over with Rizwan's dismissal. Pakistan were not so well placed at 60 for two at the halfway stage as Scotland managed to keep their opponents to a runner ball. However, things changed completely as Pakistan entered the back 10 with both Baba and the veteran Muhammad Hafiz 31 of 19 balls cutting loose to clear the ropes at regular intervals during a brisk 53-run third wicket partnership. Baba was his usual classy self when he played the ball along the ground, but at the same time, he did not hesitate to go over the top, the result of which were three sixes. After Baba's dismissal, the show belonged to Malik. In a massive chase, Scotland lost the wickets of skipper Kyle Coetzer and Matthew Cross with just 36 runs in the board. Scotland were never in the game as they struggled to 42 for 2 at the end of the first 10 overs. Richie Barrington was the lone Scotland batter to shine with a 54 ball of 37 balls. One of the biggest positives for Pakistan bowling was the manner in which Shadab Khan bowled, getting his googlies and leg spinners right ahead of the big semi-final against the Aussies. That's it guys for now. If you like this video then hit that like button. Also don't forget to share it with your buddies. And let us know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Tada.